Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have a little bit of a combo video for you. Uh, the first half or the first part of this video is a big thank you. Um, I recently passed 1,000 subscribers and I am still just in awe that I have <laughs> over a thousand. I just wanted to come and say first of all and foremost, Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed recently and helped push me over that thousand subscriber mark. Uh, I am just, I'm so incredibly thankful, uh, as well as to my subscribers who have been here since the beginning or join me somewhere along the way. I just am incredibly, incredibly thankful uh, for this experience on BookTube. It has been so much more than I ever expected it to be. Um, I've met people in real life and I have people I talk to on Voxer every day. I've done buddy reads all over the world and it has just been absolutely amazing. And uh, just a huge thank you to everyone. Uh, but in the grand tradition of BookTube, at a thousand subscribers, many people will do a Q&A. And so I'm offering up the opportunity to ask me a question. Uh, if you put it in the comments down below, you can ask me or you can ask my husband as well. And I will see if I can get him to come on camera. He said, maybe <laughs> when I asked him last. So ask him a question. If I get enough, maybe I can convince him. But yeah, just throwing out the call for questions and in a couple weeks, I'll come back and answer the questions for you. But thank you so much to everyone. Uh, like I said, it's been an absolutely unbelievable experience. I'm still in awe that I've passed a thousand. I've had to make sure <laughs> that it didn't go back down because I know sometimes YouTube does that as well. And I'm hoping it's fairly stable now, but uh, I just want to say a huge thank you and ask me a question or two <laughs> and see in a couple of weeks, I'll try and answer them for you. But in addition to that, I did end up going uh, to a bookstore over the weekend. My husband and I ended up going to Portland, Oregon this weekend. And Portland is the home of a very incredible independent bookstore called Powell's. And so Powell's is massive. Uh, I was not expecting the size of this place. When you walk in, it has kind of the you know, normal kind of look tables and things like that. It didn't look like anything really that unusual. It was very busy. And then you turn the corner and you are in massively tall, densely populated uh, bookshelves. And it was overwhelming to the point where I had like purchasing paralysis. I just couldn't pick anything up because I just didn't know what I was looking for. I didn't have a list and there were just so many options. It's like my brain just shut down and didn't want to buy anything. Uh, so what I ended up with is a very strange set of books. Um, and again, no real rhyme or reason to them or really even a lot of times why I picked them up. Um, I wish I had better answers, <laughs> but no, so we'll just jump into the books and you can see what I buy when I have no plan uh, to buy a book. So the first book is Pilgrim at Tinker Creek by Annie Dillard. And so I know I've seen this on a couple of different channels uh, and it is one that has the outdoors prevalent in it, which makes me super excited. It also says that it was the winner of the Pulitzer Prize. So I'm very excited to pick this one up. I think it'll be a good read. Uh, but yeah, Pilgrim at Tinker Creek, let me know in the comments if you know about this book uh, because I've heard some good things about it. So that's the first one. The second one is it was the uh, Pal's Pick and it's a signed copy. That's the only reason why. I ended up picking it up and it is This Time Tomorrow by Emma Straub. And so first of all, if you highlight this or if you turn it back and forth, the font is different colors and highlighted in there. I think that's very cool. Um, that is the only reason why I ended up picking this one up because I, like I said, was just in uh, paralysis mode. <laughs> I just didn't know what to buy. So I ended up buying this one. Um, it should be, I'm hoping to pick it up fairly soon because I don't think I've ever read this author before either. So it's a very odd pick for me that I would have picked this one up. I'm going to say it's a cover one because that colors on it just got me. Um, so hopefully that comes across on camera because that is so cool. All right. 
So the next book is absolutely because of the title and my husband. <laughs> so the book we got was And Then You Dive Dysentery, Lessons in Adulting from the Oregon Trail. And so uh, from what I understand, there's a game. There was an old school video game about this. And so when you go in this, you have old school kind of what looks like very old <laughs> characters from an old video game. Um, so And then, you know, just little little sayings and things like that invite your sweetie to cuddle with you while looking up at the stars the night sky was the original netflix and chill chill step one loosen up orion's belt all right then <laughs> so yeah it's super cute uh but yeah this is just a really silly one that we ended up picking up it wasn't very expensive which is the other reason why we ended up getting it but yeah that title just cracks me up uh, and so the next one is one that is actually on the thousand one book list and by an author i have read before cool <laughs> so it is Go Tell It on the Mountain by James Baldwin. Um, I read Giovanni's Room by Baldwin and really loved that book quite a bit, even though I thought the main character was a horrible, horrible person. Uh, but I'm very excited to pick up this one. I don't know if I'll pick it up in June, but it would be good for June. Uh, but yeah, Go Tell It on the Mountain by James Baldwin. This one actually, I had a purpose <laughs> as far as why I would buy it, but the rest, not so much. Um, that's not entirely true. The next book is as well. So on the 1001 book list, there is a book by Elena Ferrante, but it's book four in the Neapolitan series. And I, of course, wanted to read the first three before that. So I did pick up My B Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante. Um, I have read one other book by her and I was not super impressed. Uh, maybe the book, <laughs> it wasn't one that I loved. So I'm excited to give her another try. Uh, and I do love this cover quite a bit, but I really want to read the book four. Um, as someone had mentioned in the comments fairly recently that can a book uh, in a series stand alone? I don't know. Maybe I should, I could try doing that. I could try reading book four after this one and see if I'm lost. Um, but My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante is the next book. And the last book is the creme de la creme of what I ended up buying. I'm so sad that I didn't pick up two other books that were by the same illustrator uh, because they did have two other ones. But this is one I don't actually own. I didn't already own uh, this title at all. So I'm very excited because I picked up Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. But look at how gorgeous this book is. I mean, they had Emma and Sense and Sensibility by the same illustrator, and this cover is just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I am in love with this cover so much. And then you open the book. First of all, it has one of my favorite color colors as the end papers. Very cool. And then as you continue through, I'll try and get it on the screen, you get more artwork in here and more artwork and butterflies. And each page has like a little down here, a little um, flower. The letters of the starts of the chapter have some artwork in them. And then as you're flipping through, you'll come across something like this. There are little inserts in here Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And then the backside is Mr. Darcy. Um, it's absolutely just a delight to flip through this book. Um, beautiful illustrations, but there is a number of different inserts in this book that are just absolutely incredible. And then you add in these beautiful pieces of art. I am in love with this copy. Um, so then you have stuff like this which is an invitation. Um, it says on here, Mrs. Miss Bennett is hereby invited to grace Mr. Bingley's ball at Netherfield Park in Hertfordshire with her presence on Tuesday evening of the last week of November at six o'clock. Isn't that cool? It's just the coolest book. Um, so all kinds of little things like that in this, in this book. Um, and so there's another one here which I haven't opened, which is apparently a map of London. I don't want to. I don't want to open it. <laughs> so I am just. I am in awe of this book. There's everything from like a sheet of music in here to um, an actual letter uh, that was written to Elizabeth Bennett from Mr. Darcy. 
uh, and just so cool. I had no idea when I bought it that it had all of that stuff on the inside of this book, um, but I'm so glad I ended up buying it. <sighs> Plus it's some of my favorite colors. It's just like this book was calling to me. Now I really want the other two. Um, I mean, I could order them, but <laughs> so Pride and Prejudice, just in time for Jane Austen July coming up. Uh, but yeah, have you seen this version before? Uh, I am in love with it. I, I just want to keep looking at it. It is so pretty, but that is what I ended up buying at Pals. Why I bought these, like I said, I have no idea. Um, it was just all over the place. Uh, but if you've ever been in Pals, maybe you can sympathize because it's overwhelming and uh, yeah the couple books I had in mind I couldn't find of course and then I ended up with just this random mix of books but it was an amazing experience so if you're ever in Portland <laughs> and you're a book lover definitely try and check out Powell's because yeah I was I loved it <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure I loved it enough to drive three hours uh, down on the spur of the moment, but uh, yeah, it ended up being just an absolutely amazing book uh, bookstore. So, but yeah, pals. Hey, pals. And that is really all I have for you today. Um, again, huge thank you. Don't forget to leave your questions down in the comments for me. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everyone. Thanks. Bye.